street hate. Don't you hate that? Hi, I'm Hung Yi Lee, and welcome to iloveinteraciallove.com. The big burning question of the day is, are you practicing these five defensive street hate strategies? Okay, here's the scenario. I'm Asian, he's white, she's black, he's not. We are mixed couples in love. The important thing is that we love each other and we're happy with each other and everything is going great. We found true happiness and this is what makes our interracial relationships so special. However, not everyone in this world is as approving or accepting of interracial relationships. When people on the street, people you don't even know, say things to you that are harsh, judgmental, and hurtful, that can really make you feel fearful and anxiety driven. How do you deal with all of the street hate? Are you practicing these five street hate strategies? Okay, being the number one daughter in my family really made me strive to gain approval from my parents. In school, in playing the piano, in anything I did, I would really feel bad if I fell short of gaining that approval. Well, when I started dating and going out with guys that were anything but Asian, I knew there was no way I was going to ever gain their approval. So one day I stopped looking for it. And the funny thing is, when I did, I felt a tremendous, tremendous sense of relief in just accepting that. In fact, that is the first and most important thing you can do to effectively defend yourself from street hate. You ready? Here are five ways to effectively turn the tables on street hate. Number one, be your own approval. Why should you let someone else have the power to judge you? Make it your own responsibility to know your own worth. Number two, be good to yourself. Be confident in your relationship. If you're both happy and in love, why should you let someone else's opinion rain on your parade? Number three, be okay without their approval. Sometimes you just can't win, and that's okay. There are worse things in life than being crossed off of someone's Christmas card list. Number four, be unapologetically happy. It is so hard to dismiss people who are happy in love and confident in who they are. What can someone say about a successful relationship except they wish they had one themselves? And you know what? That is the real root of street hate. Number five, this is important. Be surrounded by love. See if you can find friends, couples, other people in interracial relationships. These are the people who can support you and understand you. They're the ones you don't have to explain anything to and the ones who probably have shared all of these experiences just the way you have. Okay, now it's your turn to tell me what your best street hate strategy is. As always, leave me a comment so that we can all learn from it. And if you're liking all of this I love, please share it, like it, and join the mix. Pop your name into the box below with your email and sign up for all the things that I have cooking for you at iloveinteraciallove.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the mix.